One of the failings of modern medicine is that it mistakes the symptoms for the disease. And whilst there's nothing wrong in itself in treating symptoms such as pain, if you are in pain, it makes sense not to be in pain, it doesn't really address the problem because what's causing the pain? And whilst things like drugs can deaden pain, the process that's causing it is still going on. And this mistake in identifying the manifestation of disease for the process of disease itself is one of the big failings of medicine. And fortunately, we're coming into an age now where people and some researchers are looking a little bit beneath the surface and looking more at the real underlying cause of disease. And one they've just been looking at is one of the most common diseases of all, which is type 2 diabetes, which is known as the lifestyle disease, which, as its name suggests, comes about from eating too many of the wrong foods and living a Western life without exercise and all the rest of it. And of course, it's typically sort of characterized as being a disease of insulin resistance and raised blood sugar levels. We eat the wrong sorts of foods. The pancreas raises the insulin to, 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 get, to break down those into blood sugar, but eventually it is a, it's a system that wears itself out. And when insulin just isn't effective anymore, diabetes um, starts, uh, starts mm. manifesting. But there's something beneath that which is really quite interesting. And the clue that uh, researchers from Heidelberg University had was that you know, even when diabetics get their uh, blood sugar levels down to within a reasonable or healthy range, a lot of the symptoms are still there. And so they dug a bit deeper and found that, in fact, beneath that is the, the, the molecules mm -hmm. uh, of diabetics is actually the problem and not the manifestation, the symptoms of the disease itself. Mm. And it's a molecule known as Mg, which is a glucose metabolite, which actually does react to L-carnosine, which is an amino acid, which suggests if that, I mean, it all sounds a bit complicated, but really the bottom line of this is that this amino acid, L-carnosine, could actually treat and actually reverse the processes that we call diabetes. Well, I think that's really amazing, and it once again demonstrates that Many illnesses we have are some sort of metabolic thing going awry. And when you can find that actual trigger, you can treat it. And as Brian says, this L-carnosine, which is, you know, it's, a, it's a, actually a dipeptide that is from amino acids. But it's when, when these researchers gave patients just this simple supplement, they started getting better. It was really incredible. Mm, mm. Uh, but, but fundamentally better, because whilst um, either drugs or, or diet will treat the disease as far as its manifestation goes, it doesn't treat the underlying problem. And no. this is what this supplement seems to be able to do. It fixes your glu glucose metabolism, basically. Mm. So this is really exciting. Imagine if that's what it takes. I mean, it's really also important to change your diet. A lot of people with type 2 diabetes have got into this situation because of years and years of, you know, of overwhelming their insulin system. And their pancreas, and so the pancreas and the uh, no longer knows what to do. The insulin becomes insensitive. So you do need to go and have a reasonable low sugar diet, mm. but with you know low carb diet. But if you can also take this, and this restores your insulin sensitivity, that's really brilliant. Yeah, and I think what is interesting about it is that it is getting down to the molecular level, and that's reversing the damage that uh, diabetes can do to nerves and kidneys, which you know, diet or even drugs on their own aren't going to do. Mm. But, you know, you're not going to hear about this in lots of different places because, you know, drug companies can't make a fortune from L-carnosine. You can buy it in health store. Um, so this isn't like a very expensive diabetes drug you have to take for life. So expect there to be some resistance for this. Get your supplies while you can. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you.